Yo, 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 serious question. Can I be allowed to celebrate Canadian Thanksgiving? Like, I should, right? Because I'm pretty sure some Canadians celebrate ours, so there's no harm, yes? And then, like, while we're on that rabbit hole, why didn't I think about this ages ago? Like, I, Thanksgiving's my favorite holiday, and I could have been celebrating it twice. Twice in one year. Oh, so many missed opportunities. <sighs> Next year. Next year. Mm hmm Anyways, enough of that rabbit hole. So, <laughs> I've got a video here. And we're pretty much doing a twist on the traditional mac and cheese. So we're doing fried mac and cheese balls. Welcome to my kitchen. Now, I made this for Thanksgiving like a few years back because I did kind of like a non-traditional Thanksgiving, meaning I basically made dishes that were not normally prepared or kind of a twist on the dishes you'd normally find during Thanksgiving, kind of like this one. And these are really pretty simple. So now I'm gonna show you. Don't have a mac and cheese recipe? No big. Use this one. He's got you covered. Tell him I sent you. All right, so you start with mac and cheese obviously, and you'll want to refrigerate so that it's much easier to work with. And now what you want to do is grease your hands with some butter or oil. And then with a spoon or ice cream scoop, portion out some of the mac and cheese. Then we're going to form them into the balls the best you can, and we're going to place these on a cookie sheet. Now these can go into the fridge or the freezer to firm up for like 30 minutes to an hour. And then these are pretty much ready for breading. So you're just gonna dip it in flour, then in some egg wash, which is eggs mixed with a little bit of water or milk. And then you just dip them in the breadcrumbs. and then these are ready to fry, or you can place these in the freezer to firm up again, and then you can fry them when you're done. So my mac and cheese balls are out of the freezer and ready to be fried. So I have some oil at 350 degrees, and we're just going to fry these until they're golden brown. And then you serve these up, and then you have deliciousness on a plate. I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more. And comment below if you think that I should be able to celebrate Canadian Thanksgiving. And if you would celebrate it with me, because I believe that I should be able to. So many missed opportunities. Anyways, you can connect with me on any of my social media listed below. Thank you bunches for being here, and I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness.